1932 D. Washington quarter dollar. Graded in Mint State 63 by PCGS. The 1932 D. Washington quarter is one of the two big key dates of the series. Its mintage of 436,800 coins is the second lowest of the series. Collecting quarters was not a popular pastime in 1932, despite the popularity of coin collecting in general. Cents, nickels, and dimes were viewed as inexpensive issues that were avidly collected from circulation by the general public. Numismatic demand for the coins finally developed after World War II, and most survivors were culled from circulation by 1960. Today, the 1932 D is scarce, but not really rare, in lower mint state grades, but the issue is the prime condition rarity of the series in gem, or better, condition. This MS-63 specimen was sold for $1,260 on January 23, 2024. Number 6. 1944 S. Washington Quarter with Double Die Obverse. Graded in Mint State 67 by PCGS. In God We Trust exhibits the strongest doubling, although the date and liberty are also die doubled. A lustrous silver-gray pristine quarter dollar with impressive strike and preservation level. It ended up selling for $1,320 on January 23, 2024. Number 5. 1934 D. Walking Half Dollar. Graded in Mint State 66 by NGC. According to Grading Service, this was the first emission of half dollars from the Denver Mint since 1929, not including the 1,933 D. Oregon Trail pieces made solely for collectors. While the Denver Mint would soon start producing the most consistently well-struck coins of the three mints, this was not evident yet. The typical 1,934 D. Half Dollar displays an indifferent strike. Though many mint state survivors are known, well-struck gems are quite elusive. This specimen was sold for $1,560. Number 4. 1930s Lincoln Cent with Repunched Mint Mark S over S. Graded in Mint State 67 read by PCGS. The remnants of an undertype S are visible to the north of the primary mint mark, identifying the popular cherry pickers variety. This spectacular superb gem exhibits sharply detailed design elements throughout, and the virtually flawless original red surfaces radiate vibrant mint luster, with outstanding eye appeal. It was sold for $5,760. Number 3. 1911 Proof Lincoln Cent. Graded as PR66 Brown by PCGS and later approved by CAC. According to Grading Service, the 1911 Matt Proof Link and Cent has a very low mintage of 1,725. However, there are several other dates with lower mintages such as the 1909 VDB, 1914, 1915 and 1916 Proof, all with mintages under 1,400 coins struck. The only other dates with a higher mintage are the 1909, 1910, 1912 and 1913 but even then, the highest of these only has a mintage of 4,118. Therefore, all matte proof Lincoln cents are scarce. This monster tone brown example fetched a sum of $7,800 on January 14, 2024. Number 2. 1959 Proof Washington Quarter. Graded as PR69 Deep Cameo by PCGS. According to NGC, the proof quarter dollar of 1959 is common in grades through proof 68 with a fairly generous supply of Proof 69 examples, too. Nearly all of these are fully brilliant or display only slight frosting on the devices of one or both sides. Coins designated as Cameo are available to advanced collectors, but Ultra Cameo or Deep Cameo specimens are especially rare for this date. This superb gem ended up selling for $11,265.75 with buyer's fee. Number 1. 1914 Proof Lincoln Cent. Graded as PR68 read by PCGS and confirmed by CAC. This date is somewhat scarcer than the more plentiful 1910 and 1913 cents. Fully red gems are especially elusive, the example illustrated being among the finer ones despite some light spotting. This true rarity is one of two finest specimens according to PCGS population. It was sold for $126,562.50 with buyer's fee. Thanks for watching this video. Consider subscribing to our channel for more captivating numismatic content. Have a good one.